songs and let the preacher know when he in trouble. that song. Don't nobody move. You in trouble. Praise the Lord somebody. Because I believe that there's not a one of us in here that can't say that there has been a time in your life when you didn't know how you were going to make it and you made it didn't even know if you were going to make it. But you can declare right now that my God stepped in right on time. Amen. Amen. I'm a living witness. Amen. Amen. I can walk because he stepped in right on time. Amen. Doctor looked at me and said I might not ever walk again. But he stepped in right on time. Somebody thought you were going to be put out of your residence. But he stepped in right on time. Can I get a witness?
turn with me, if you will. All right. When the shouting stops, let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, once again, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father God, I Ask now that you would move Dennis out of the way. Speak, Lord. For my servants are listening. Speak, Lord, and we shall hear and obey. Speak, Lord, because thou art God, and thou art God alone. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. Amen. And amen.
I can tell you right now, I don't care what kind of condition you're in. I don't care what it is that you're going through. I declare right now I can find somebody that will trade places with you. I believe in my heart and I believe in my spirit that God has given all of us something that we ought to be able to celebrate. All right. Now, all if right. you can hear my voice this morning, you ought to be able to celebrate, amen, now, that this is a day that the Lord has made and I'm going to rejoice in it, amen. I'm not going to allow my circumstances, I'm not going to allow my situations, I'm not going to allow anything to interrupt my ability, amen, now, to celebrate Jesus, amen. All right. Because I want you to know that your celebration of the Lord Jesus ought to not have anything to do with anything you're going through. Amen. All right. All but right. just the fact, amen, uh, that he's God and he's God all alone, amen, that he's God all by himself, amen. Let me tell you something I know about my God, uh, that if my God will bring me to it, amen, my God will see me through. Amen. amen. Because he said in his word that he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. Amen. And God cannot lie. Amen. Isn't that good to know? Amen. That we have a reason. Amen. To celebrate. Amen. We have a reason. Amen. To give God the praise. Amen. That He so richly deserves for all that He has done in our lives. And so it is that I wonder has anybody other than myself, other than myself, just thought about this crowd that was here. Amen. Many of them, for the first time, they have heard about this Messiah that would come. They have heard about this Jesus of Nazareth. They had heard about this man that was giving sight to the blind. They had heard about this man that took two small fish and five barley loaves, amen, and fed the 5,000 plus. They had heard about this man that spit on the ground and made a clay and anointed a man's eyes and the man began to see, amen. They had heard about this man who this woman who had had an issue of blood for 38 long years touched the hem of his garment and she was made whole instantly. They had heard about this man, amen, uh, who went by a pool, amen, uh, and there was a man that had laid there for 38 long years, uh, amen, and all of a sudden, uh, this Jesus asked him one simple question uh, that changed his life. Uh, he simply asked him, would thou be made whole, amen, uh, and the man, amen, began to make excuses, but his excuses didn't stop Jesus uh, for being what he was. They had heard about this man that met a woman at a well one day. And, uh, this woman had lived a life not fitting. Uh, and then she was an outcast of society. But she ended up running back to the city and telling the folk, come see a man right. that told me everything I ever did. They had heard about this man uh, when the disciples had fished all night long uh, and had caught nothing. Uh, simply said to him, uh, catch your nets on the other side. They had heard all of their lives, amen, that Israel one day will be restored to where God intended for her to be. Israel, though, see, many of them did not realize uh, that they never lost, amen, uh, who they were in the Lord, amen. Uh, but because they changed their form of worship, what am I saying? I'm saying to somebody right now, uh, you are still where you were. You are still what you always were to the Lord. But the problem is, uh, you no longer worship God. You remember when you were ashamed to shout? Uh, you, you, you wouldn't shout in church because you didn't want folk to, you didn't know how folk were going to act about your shout. Your shout may not have been the prettiest shout. And your shout may not have, but you had your shout, amen. You get out there behind the house cutting grass. Can I get a witness, hey man? Uh -huh. You'd be in the house by yourself. Uh, nobody but you. Can I get a witness?
Is anybody, amen, you just had your own shout, amen. Anybody ever got up, somebody said, I felt like running, I felt like shouting. Anybody ever been there and done that? Now, you just felt like it, amen, but you didn't know how it was going to turn out. Then one day you got to a point in your, in, in, in your spirit, amen, uh, to where you didn't care how your shout looked. Uh, you were going to go ahead and use it in a way. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Then there are some folks that you could not wait to get to the church. Because <laughs> you knew with all that stuff in your house that you shout in there, you were going to tear something up. Uh, <laughs> But when I get to the church, there's plenty of room. I can shout. But there's somebody also remember when your shouting stopped. You allowed circumstances. You allowed situations. You allowed things that came upon you, amen, to stop your shouting. All right. The Bible declares that this day that we celebrate, which is called Palm Sunday, was a day of celebration. All right. Mm -hmm. They were shouting because to many it meant that God was really now to restore us. They shouted, Hosanna, which means God's salvation has come. See God's salvation. See how God is going to move. See what God is going to do with this house. Amen. Anybody coming here this morning shouting Hosanna because you just realize that God is getting ready to move in your life. Amen. I want you to know something about when God gets ready to move in your life. It may not always look like God ready to move. It may not always look like God is getting ready to do anything, but I declare to you right now, at the very time that you think not, amen, it already is, amen. Uh, hello, somebody. So they were shouting and they were praising God. They were lifting him up. Many were shouting, Hail, the King that cometh, in the name of the Lord. Now listen right. to what they were shouting about. They were shouting because they realized that he has come in the name of the Lord. This week.
where there was no doubt that this was the Jesus that Jeremiah had talked about, that this was the Jesus that Isaiah had talked about, this was the Jesus that Zechariah had talked about, this was the Jesus, the, the Messiah, the one that they said that would come. How would you know it? Because he's not coming riding on a white horse, but he's going to come riding on a foul of a dog. Somebody looked down the road and it was not how it is. It was to be unmistakable. I dare somebody to ride past White Oak and you see them and you not identify them if they were riding a donkey. <laughs> Come down the road driving Lexus, you're not going to pay them any attention. Hello, somebody. But to many of them, this was their redeemer. I believe it in my spirit. I, I believe it in my heart. I believe in my spirit that there were some in, in the crowd whose celebration should have never stopped. I believe that woman that had the issue of blood, I, I believe her celebration should have never stopped. All right. I believe that Jairus was in the crowd because his daughter was dead and Jesus brought her back to life. I believe her celebration should have never stopped. All right. I believe that Mary and Martha were in the crowd. They had the, the good God Almighty because their brother was dead had been put in the tomb. But Jesus, I believe that their celebration should have never stopped. I believe that there are some in today who should have come here to celebrate. You should have come to continue your celebration because you know that you know that God has made a way for you. You know that you're away. You know that you know that you are down to your last dime and God blessed you. You know that you know that what your doctor saw you had but God delivers you. Amen. You know that you know that what you were going through is real but one night you prayed and laid down to sleep and got up and God. All right. But God. <laughs> know that you are about to lose your house, about to lose your car. Know that your funds were low and your debts were high. But stop. Lean over the man. He said, son, make sure you enjoy this day. Because the crowd that you see before you now, that have gathered to celebrate what you do, the next time the crowd gathered this long, you won't be able to see. All right. Mm. 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 Wow. Why don't you, can I tell our own story since we don't have any business? I remember three years ago when we were appointed here. I remember how the number of this Sunday school came. Tell it, preacher. I remember when we were Say it. Say it, preacher. Went to represent this Say it. Say it. I remember that there was a new excitement yes. about what God was going to do in our midst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Many of us stopped shouting 
Because there's no longer any excitement in us. Mm. God is doing it. The many of us, say, man, what we, what we came to know and how we came to love God, it is no longer as exciting as it was. You don't run when there's nothing chasing you any longer. You don't, you don't cry when there's nothing sad about you anymore. To many of us, the excitement of Jesus has worn in. And we no longer shout. The excitement of I can pray to my God. Anybody in here can, can, can accept that God has worked a miracle in my life. That God has worked a miracle. I know that I know that it was a miracle that God worked in my life. All right. But because the excitement of what God is going to do now no longer seems to be what it was. Whole body stuff. Yeah. Now, 
like that. That, that, that you can't you can't you can't keep your foot on somebody else's neck. You get up. Only way you get up, only you knock me down. The only way you can keep me there is to stay there with me. For many of us, the shouting stopped when we realized that in order to be, when I examined it, when I found out what it was that God expected of me, as long as I lived according to what I expected of God, this thing worked out good. But when I began to realize what God expected of me, and I, I ain't got to talk about y'all, I can talk about me. When I got saved and I realized just how good God had been to me, I realized that God had made a way for me, that God had kept me, God had blessed me, God had blessed my life, God had given me the woman of my dream, God had blessed me, God had given us a new home, and God had done things, and I, God had given me a great job, God had done all these things for me, and I was celebrating, I could shout because of what God had done for me. Say it, preacher. Then one day God said, go preach my word. It was easy to tell God, God, I'll go where you want me to go. I said, I'll make that promise to God. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll say what you want me to say. I'll do what you want me to do. And it was only because you thought that God could not use you. You felt like God can use them. God can use me. I said, no. <laughs> you, you want me to do what? <laughs> so let me tell you what I did. And then this may, this, this may ring a bell with some of you. I'm going to come down here and tell you this. I don't want y'all to miss this. I decided that I would do for God what I was good at. Yeah, y'all, y'all hear me? Say, yeah, Pastor, we yeah, I decided that I would do for God what I was good at. God said, that's not what I told you. And I lost my shot. That's right. That's right. That's right now. If God has put you in a position now, hmm. a good example. There's some of y'all that that you fell out with somebody some years ago. You want to love them now, and you just feel like you can't get back there. It's because you didn't turn off the switch. God saw how your how your attitude was. God turned it off. <laughs> I heard a preacher preach up a word one day that, that, that said, uh, when you could or you didn't, now that you want to, you can. Look out. And I want us to know that that's what's wrong with some of us. Some, some of us want to get back to, want to feel like we used to feel. Amen, huh? All right. But because God said, no, not yet. God knew every individual in that crowd. And do you notice that God started with the church? The first folk that got upset was the, the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. All right. Those leaders of the church were the first ones to get upset. Come on. Because they had been running the temple their own way. All right. Go through. Some of them folk may not have looked like some folk that we think they ought to look like. So there were some of them that, 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 that thought they would get the big head about what God had done for them. Lord, tell them to shut up. <laughs> Your shot was all right. Until you know that somebody that you thought didn't have no business shot. They ain't got nothing. 
They ain't been to school nowhere. They ain't got no education. What they got to shout about? They ain't got no car, had to hit you ride, no. So they said, Jesus, tell these folks to shut up. They don't have no listen to them. They ain't never Bible study. Don't come to Sunday school. I ain't start putting nothing in the plate. Tell them to shut up. Jesus said that these would hold their peace. Then immediately, not sometimes it's written, immediately, the rocks would cry out. Huh? I've always said this, and my wife will tell you, this is something that has followed my entire ministry. If you get tired of seeing folk jumping up shouting and jumping up testifying and jumping up giving God glory, I tell you what you do. Every time you feel like they gonna get up, you get up. Every time you feel like they gonna testify, you testify. You probably can't stop them, but you slow them down a little bit. But understand that the shouting did not stop me. Because just as much as some of those same folk were shouting hail to the king, uh -huh. a few days later, sometime by the middle of this week coming up, some of those same folk are going to be shouting crucify him. All right. Do you understand what I mean? Some, some of the same folk will shout with you when you're talking about somebody else's mess. Uh, they go to talking about your mess. Uh, you want to crucify. Uh, look out. Long as they go along, and all they do is celebrate. Some of them same folk. That we're shouting hell to our Lord. Here comes the Son of God who will take away the sins of the world. They shouted. A few days later, they shouted crucify him. All right. Then the On Friday afternoon, oh. Oh. they led him out to a whole hill called Gautama. Uh -huh. There they stretched him wide. Uh -huh. And they hung him high. Uh -huh. They nailed him, y'all. Uh -huh. They nailed uh -huh. to the cross. Bible even declared that when they nailed him to the cross, <laughs> that the sun could be shattered. All right. All right. But y'all know something I began to realize. <laughs> that Jesus said that if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men yes, unto me. Yes, I understand yes. how the sun could shine that afternoon. Because there was no need for two suns. To shine all at the same time. All right, all right, all right. We tried it out. There was no shine. Sad moment. There was no shine. Mm -mm. But early, somebody say early. Early. That's not the moment. All right. They tell me they went running to the tomb. Somebody said that when they looked in the tomb, he's not in there. And because he wasn't in there, <laughs> Somebody said, I have something 
Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you.